Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since uh, I've done any kind of recording, but um, it's just busy. I've been sick. My hair's a mess. You know, it, it's just nothing worked out. So I think this two months, my hair is such a mess. I don't even care. You guys are the only ones seeing me and the people that live here. So anyway, these are my empties for, wait, March. Yep, March. I have some candles. Let's start with this one. This is Bath and Body Works French Baguette. It says, oh, slow rising dough, crispy crust, and a fresh out of the oven aroma. This does not smell good now because it smells like a burnt candle. This one was okay. It kept it, I got the puny wicks at the end, so it kind of kept putting itself out and I just gave up. It wasn't the strongest, but it did have that fresh baked bread aroma in the air. This one is under the Christmas tree. Yeah, I burned this in March. <laughs> it says fir, balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. This smelled so good. Oh, see, and it still does. Oh, it just smells so good. Such a great Christmas scent that I burned in March. The last Bath and Body Works candle, I almost messed that up, is Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. This says Blue Raspberry Syrup, Hint of Cherry, Scoop of Shaved Ice. I think I got this for free at one point. I think this was like you buy something, you got this for candle, so I did. This was okay. It burned good, but it wasn't the strongest. It just was okay. I was hoping for more. This is a Kushner Creator Champagne Pomegranate Candle, little tin. Yeah, it smells good. Like, it, this is not a scent that I would be all over, but I did like that one. So, these are my misses or boths or just okays. Oh, wait. Let's do. I did get through... Uh, Cosmic Lens Kieran Blackberry Birthday Cake Lotion, or I'm sorry, she calls it butter. God, that smells so good. So good. Love that lotion. And then this is an incense um, from Tanshi Mountain Studios. I don't know any other place that has handmade incense other than Tanshi. So if you want to drop like a link on the bottom, please let me know because I love incense. All right, let's get to the wax melts here. This one I got in a D stash. It is wax misfeel, the C, wax misfeel. It is the molten wax. It says it's in Citizen's Tree, our version of Lush Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom's not a scent that I can smell very good with my nose. I do not like this. This was like a liquid wax. It stays liquid in your warmer even after like it's done melting and it was so gross to clean up. Not my favorite. I don't know if it's just age or if it's the molten wax in general. All right, Savannah Blue. These were all sent to me by my friend Jennifer. These are older, so I know she's changed since then. And some of these had so much potential, they just didn't shine. Shadows, Ooh, I can barely read it. C. Leve, I'm just going to tell you the names because I can't see this little tiny writing. Seaside Carousel. Out of the Blue. Oh, this one says blueberries and green apple cake. This one was all green apple. And it was very light. Clean Blue Coconut. Oh, see this one. Blue Sugar, Clean Coconut, Clean Cotton, and Coconut Coast. Ooh, this one had potential. I'm going to yawn. Excuse me, but it just was not there. Uh, we've got Waxy Taffy, Winter Wonderland. This just didn't throw for me, and I don't like having to individually unwrap each piece of wax. This is Back 40, What's Going On, and that just didn't have much of a throw, but, you know, they could be old age-wise. You never know. Some wax lasts longer than others. So this one is a new-to-me vendor. It's called a Thame and Alchemy, or Plus Alchemy, A-T-H-A-M-E Plus Alchemy. Um, this, I, I don't like this packaging either, just for the record, but that's my preference. This is La Vienne, La Vienne Rose. 
crunchy rose water macaroons, rich notes of cream, butter, coconut, a woodsy vetiver base, and a single champagne top note. There just was nothing there for me. Java cake, vanilla cake, and a dollop of orange marmalade and light milk chocolate frosting. Just didn't get much out of this one. Uh, Bal Baltazar. This one should have been like a incense note, mere super light notes of patchouli, dry wood, green leaves, ozone, ripe figs, faint jasmine. But I just didn't really get much of much out of that one. This is Handworks Flowering Herb. This one literally just smelled like, and it still does, a plant, and I don't like it. I just, like, not a fragrant plant, just like a green plant. Again, my opinions. This was TTF Incense. This was sent to me in a D stash. Um, this is blackberry zucchini bread, although it did throw. Both scents were in there, and I am no bueno on the zucchini bread. This is Wood and Wicks Candle Company Country Christmas Kisses, again with the Christmas. And I can't really read this because they put it over the thing. That was just real faint. All right, we're going to move on, moving on to my hits. I'll start with the overflowing one. Uh, these are all handworks. These were all sent to me by my friend Jennifer, and most of them are the round clam. They're all copycats. Pink daisies and goji berries. I love that scent. Bubblegum, not my favorite, but it's legit smelled like bubblegum. White sage and lavender. Yes, please. Pink petal tea cakes. This was my first time, I think, really smelling just pink petal tea cakes, and that was nice. Hey, honey. I did not know what this one was, but I freaking loved it. Bonsai, I like that one too. It's a nice, clean smelling scent. These are all going in a recycle, by the way. Uh, patchouli linen. Yes, I liked this one too. I like patchouli scents. This was Say It Ain't Snow, Watery Air, Smooth Evergreen, Tart Citrus Fruits, Green Moss, Musk, and Golden Amber. Oh, it's just smelled like outside in the winter. Just nice. Uh, we do have some Savannah Blue in the hits. The Last Key. Blue Ocean Waters. Did I have two of these? I think this one was meant for there. Frost Princess. Oh, Raspberry Jam, Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I liked this one because it was very light. Magic in the Air. Almond Flower White Iris. I think this is just a single scent. But I like that scent from Bath & Body Works. I thought I was hearing something. Wood and Wicks Candle Company, Kiss Me in the Rain, Water Lily, Pink Sugar, and China Rain. Although lighter, this was amazing. This was so good. I have Zape, Satin Sheets. It says Vanilla Orchard, Bergamot, Apple, Citrus, Cotton. Um, oh, this is... Let's do it this way. All Rose Girls. I have... Cotton Candy Cookie Land, Wake and Baking Cookie Land, Frosted Summer Breeze, which is Summer Breeze and Cotton Candy Frosting, Basil, Salty Sea Air, and Thyme. I loved this. I did not think that I would, but it was it was good. Singing in the Rain, Snickerdoodle Butter Pecan Cookies, and Down by the River. Rose Girls, as long as it's not just fruity, performs very well for me in my house. Um, I've noticed that if I get fruity from Rose Girls, it doesn't do as good. Oh, let me see what I did here. Okay. This is Melt Delicious Paws. It is a UK vendor, but this was sent to me uh, in a D-stash. Fairy, fairy boats. It was uh, Fruit Loops. Lurid Apocathery. Sweet Pretzel Twist. And Halloween Nights. Both of those performed very nicely. These are Kushner Creations, Huckleberry Harvest, Lucky 13, Santa's Whiskers, Drunk Santa, Bubblegum, again, just like the real pink bubblegum, and Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Just getting the rest of my likes here. Um... Sassy Girl Aroma, this is SP, uh, Strawberry Pound Cake, 
and Audrey's in the kitchen. I like her in the kitchen sense. Although I haven't actually ordered in a long time. Her prices are way too high for me. Um, she does definitely have great wax that throws. Uh, this is from Northwood Candle. It's Bedford Falls. This smells nice. Bodies Harmony, A Night at the North Pole. Oh, Cashmere Cedar and North Pole. I freaking love that. Back 40. Tick, oh, pick it. Pick up. I don't know, there's something. This is Heat Wave. Now, see, these were poured in 2017, and this wax was perfectly fine. Um, this one as well, you'll be able to see the aging on the label, is from L3 Waxy Wonders. It's Teddy's Tulip Spring Breeze. Look at how old that is. And it was messy, but it performed perfectly well. So sometimes wax lasts longer than others. Oh, I have more Sassy Girl. That's what I did. That's what I did. This is that Thame Alchemy Pink Dragon. Uh, Dragon's Blood, Cedar Clove, Zesty Sweet Lemon, Tangerine Watermelon. This was, I loved this. It was a lot of Dragon's Blood, but that was fine. So I have some more Sassy Girls. Um, this is Be Wild and Free, which is Pistachios in the Kitchen. And Selma, Juicy Blackberry, Cotton Candy, Hint of Amber, Light Floral, and Sweet Vanilla. And then these are both Empire Alchemy, Sleepy Sheep, and Peaches and Clean. Both performed very well. That's another vendor that I don't think of to order from as much. Empire Alchemy. The same with um, Wax Incredibles. I, I just don't seem to order from those as much as I should. But that is it. That is everything. That is everything that I got through for the month of March. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.